OK, so good morning. So my name is Guy Gregory and I work for Anglian Water as part of the Strategic Pipeline Alliance. And I'm joined by Chris Harris today to do this presentation. So we'd like to present to you how Anglian Water and in particular the Strategic Pipeline Alliance is embracing geospatial technology to achieve our future water challenges as part of our digital twin. Hi, my name is Chris Harris and I work for Atkins as part of the Strategic Pipeline Alliance. As the GIS solution architect on the project, I've been responsible for designing the Alliance GIS solution architecture and working with the GIS team to support its implementation. Okay. So Anglian Water is geographically the largest water company in the UK and we serve 7 million customers. It's also one of the driest regions in the country. And in addition to water stress, the region's population has grown by 20% in the last 20 years. And on top of this, climate change is expected to bring more challenges. So even with our goal to encourage people to use less water, all of these challenges mean that there will be a future deficit of water in our region. So the Alliance is constructing a pipeline scheme and a digital twin for Anglian Water, which is designed to help address this problem. So the pipeline in itself is the largest non-DCO project in Europe and it will take about five years to complete. It will stretch from the north of our region on the Humber right through to Colchester in the south. Now the 2025 vision for the Alliance is to deliver a large scale holistically linked water transfer resilience system. This will be designed, built, operated, performance managed and maintained using advanced digital technology. Now the pipeline is a linear asset and therefore the geospatial element is an important factor. In setting up our alliance, the ability to geospatially visualise our asset was seen to be a very important early development. So we're trying to do things a little differently from the standard construction approach. So using the Project 13 principles, the alliance will deliver outcomes rather than a prescribed infrastructure solution. So Project 13 builds on five core principles that shifts infrastructure delivery from a transactional to an enterprise delivery model. And as a capable owner, Anglian Water has given the Alliance the breadth to develop independently, but with a clear governance process in place. Now Anglian Water is also an early adopter of digital twins within the water sector. This pipeline is an opportunity to start to develop elements of Anglian's twin. So by integrating traditionally siloed business functions and systems, we'll deliver enhanced capability across the asset lifecycle. And geospatial is an important part of this solution. So digital transformation will provide enormous value and efficiencies in engineering, production, and the operational costs of a smart water system. We have embraced geospatial technology and we stood up a very early geospatial solution during our mobilization stage. This has enabled early collaboration and visualization. Now integrating into the existing digital infrastructure of Anglian Water was essential. We needed to create an early collaborative platform to enable us to plan, deliver and monitor our consenting works. And our enterprise architecture and data model were very early considerations. We wanted all of our staff from our different companies and the supply chain ecosystem to have access to the same one version of the data truth. And as lockdown has dispersed our staff, this visualisation is even more important to us. And by doing things differently, we've already seen over 100 kilometres removed from our programme. And now I'd like to hand over to Chris. Thank you, Guy. Now I'd just like to take you through our solution in a little bit more detail. From the start of the project, we recognised that GIS would be a core component in the enterprise architecture and ultimately the digital twin, allowing us to collate and socialise information across the project and the Alliance partners. This will help to enable a coordinated and collaborative approach to scheme development. We developed an enterprise architecture model to map out the technology, data integration and process requirements, as well as a fully attributed data model to represent the physical assets, which will support the future operations and maintenance use cases that monitor asset performance. 
The Alliance GIS was implemented as a platform to inform solutions and to enable the consenting process. A central database brings data together with an information management workflow to ensure that it is correctly recorded and quality assured. At the start of 2020, the GIS just contained the initial scheme alignments, Anglian water asset data, and some national constraints data for the solutions and consenting teams to start their route optioneering and assessments. A year later, we acquire, generate, capture, manage, analyze, and share over 1,200 different data sets from approximately 50 different data providers, which includes a range of Alliance disciplines. We have over 700 users accessing the Alliance GIS, including the supply chain, and we'll be expanding this to the client and other stakeholders. It can be used by any of our partner organizations and accessed anywhere, either within or outside of Anglian Water Offices on a laptop or tablet. One example application of the Alliance GIS is how it's being used to support digital rehearsal and planning through the use of 3D visualizations and fly throughs of proposed pipeline routes. By overlaying the different layers of information, the team can better visualize and understand the terrain as well as highlighting environmental constraints, hazards and risks along the route. Using the GIS, we have identified £775,000 worth of benefits to date. GIS will play a role in supporting a number of areas of the Alliance's digital twin capability model, including data management, analysis and visualisation. Visualisation includes 2D and 3D web maps and spatial dashboards that present real-time changes to the network. Virtual reality and augmented reality will take geospatial data and present it in a way that helps users to understand where utility networks and pipes are rooted below the surface. GIS can help to make sense of the masses of data that will be generated from IoT sensor streams by aggregating a range of different data sources against a common base map. It can also act as an accessible map-based portal into other specialist tools within the Digital Twin platform. We hope to integrate all of these different aspects in future phases. Anglian Water and the Alliance are keen to support the integration of our Digital Twin with the National Digital Twin, which is a federation of digital twins that will be brought together under the Gemini principles. Our existing cloud data platforms, such as Microsoft Azure, ArcGIS Online and FME Server, could be readily leveraged to securely serve data to the National Digital Twin. In summary, I hope we've demonstrated how the power of our geospatial digital solution has transformed the way we are delivering a major infrastructure project. The technology and processes have empowered remote project teams from multiple alliance partners to collaborate virtually despite the challenging circumstances of the pandemic. Thank you.